Now we're going to learn how you can style your cells. There are some custom styles that are available to you in Microsoft Excel. You can simply click on a cell and then you can go under the cell styles. If you click the more button, it allows you to style your cells. So we're going to use one of these styles. Similarly, you can click this total. There is a total style available to you. You can select the row headings. You can apply one of the accents. So generally speaking, when people give you instructions like, I want you to apply 60% accent for, they're actually referring to the styling available to you in the styles. So you can simply click over here, let's say 60% accent by. You can select the rest of the contents and then you can give them, let's say, 40% accent 5. You do not have to give the colors in the same accenting style, but until this you're coloring in the same style, you can very well do that. Now, for example, this is the price. I can simply select this. I can simply go in the list and I can say I want it to be currency. So now it automatically formats into a currency format. So there are two possible currency formats. As you can see, there's a currency and then there's a currency zero. The main difference is currency gives you uh, the, the, the trailing zeros and the currency zero doesn't. So it depends on how you want to use it. Very similar to that, you can use comma or comma zero. One gives you, they both give you commas, but one gives you zeros, like the, tra the, the trailing zeros, one doesn't. So it's totally up to you. Very similar to that, you can come under the date and you can start putting in dates. Now, this is where it automatically changes your format from general to date. General is the default format for each cell, but as soon as you start putting items in certain styles, it automatically picks one of these items in the list. So, for example, if I start putting in dates like uh, January 1st, 2017, some dates just for your reference as you can see in all of these cells the format is date you can go down in the list and then you have a choice of picking a short date or a long date these are the two different formats as soon as I put the long date as you you can see that it automatically adds the day of the week the month and everything is spelled out otherwise I can just go down in the list and simply select short date and Another way to auto adjust if the column width is too big, you can simply double click and it's going to shrink to the longest item in the list. So those are some, these are some of the ways that you can format things. Very similarly, you can just click on these, these ones and you can, for example, give them a background color from here as well. See all of these different choices. Um, you can give them a text color. You can further increase their size. Let's say I want it to be size 20. And then uh, you can apply by going to the font group, all of these properties, and then you can preview them. So there are, there are a lot of things that you've learned in Microsoft Word that you can still use here. So um, that's basically how you go about formatting um, any of your Excel spreadsheet. You can use those built-in cell styles as well as you can use the formatting from the font group. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.